Alright guys, so today I'm heading to the Bahamas, I'm heading to a three to four day fishing trip and today the weather is supposed to be okay, uh, two foot seas, seven seconds apart, uh, but it's going to be starting at three foot seas, uh, seven seconds apart and then working its way down to uh, two feet. So it's going to be improving instead of getting worse. Alright, right now I'm in I-95. I should be at Miami in about probably two and a half hours. All right, it's about five in the morning. I'm heading out in autopilot really slow. There's a big cruise ship ahead of me there. He's gonna be right in front of me within 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Right now I'm running the generator. It's working perfect. It's definitely a lot more comfortable. You don't hear that loud noise uh, from the engine. It's a lot more comfortable. Plus the cold AC's hit me right here. So much, much comfortable uh, to have the generator running. The ocean doesn't feel that bad. It feels pretty good. I mean, at this speed, uh, 10 miles per hour and you can see the boat is hardly moving the waves are really low so yeah surprisingly the weather is just perfect it says it's gonna be about three feet to two feet um, it's more like a foot and a half I'll show you the cruise ship is right there I don't know if you can see it you can see that little dot right there and I'm right here and he's right here in the front. Yeah, a lot more comfortable having the air conditioner on. It doesn't feel humid in here, it feels nice and cool. Love it. And it's such a, in a good position there, it doesn't get wet. I just wish I would have done this a long time ago so I can use the air conditioner while navigating. It's usually it's all that noise, just irritating. So yeah, that pump is very quiet when you're running. When you're running at higher speeds, um, it's very quiet. But right now it's just moving left to right because you have no speed. Uh, but once you pick up speed, the pump is very smooth. Right now it's just trying to go back and forth because I'm going very slow. Look at this, at 10 to 11 miles per hour, I'm doing 3.6 to 3.8 miles per gallon. So about 3.6 at 10 miles per hour, that is huge fuel economy. Um, I added a new propeller, I took the one I had, um, and I added a new one, and I can feel the fuel economy, it's much better. This is a little bit bigger propeller than the other one, the other one's a little smaller to increase RPMs. Now you cannot hear the pump as much at all. Um, what I did was I came here to the menu and went to the response right here and I changed it to uh, low three. So by changing it to low three, the pump is not fighting uh, that much because the boat is not moving that fast. So if you can see right there, it's not moving that much so now it's a lot quieter than earlier but now the pump is a lot quieter now 
as you can see there. Less noise right now. Very quiet. There's some lights from another boat and it's really far but, but it's right at my heading navigating at nighttime I really don't like to go fast because the radar does not pick up any logs or any submerged items on the water so at 10 miles per hour if I hit something really big it's not gonna be a lot of damage but going any faster hitting something hard like a piece of log uh, you can sink the boat and I don't want to be swimming in these waters right now at night time I'd rather stay dry all right I'm getting kind of hungry for breakfast I got egg ham biscuit right now it's about 5 45 in the morning so it is breakfast time to be a bimini right at 750 right when customs open up so I'm gonna be there right on time it's good to be here early because that way I really take advantage of today now last night I only slept like an hour it wasn't enough but who needs sleep when you can fish, right? Now there's some big swells about seven seconds apart. gets wet right there in the middle. Perfect. See that? And the water does not reach the middle here. So that's a perfect location for the generator. Doesn't get wet there at all.
back there for about 30 seconds. All right, the sun is about to come up. It's going to be a beautiful day today. There's only 5% chance of rain at Bimini today. And I don't know if I'm going to stay at Bimini uh, or if I'm going to go to another location. My plan is to only use 90 gallons to do all the trip this time. So I won't be refueling any fuel at Bimini. I'm gonna do everything uh, with one tank of gas, which is 90 gallons. So let's see if that's gonna happen. I brought 12.5 gallons of fuel for the generator, 12.5. So I don't have to tap in to my 90 gallons. So that's why the boat is very heavy right now. I have about 102.5 gallons of fuel and about 20 gallons of water. Plus I added 40 more pounds to my chain, uh, to my windlass. So that counts also. But the good thing is it's positive weight because the weight is in the front of the bow, so it brings down the bow of the boat. So in a way, it's a positive weight, but I rather have no added weight. noisy out there. I'm doing great gas mileage with this propeller. Alright, I had to slow down. That big uh, old tanker there. It's gonna cross right in front of me, and um, I don't wanna get in front of him. We got real close, so I'm gonna let him win, since he's a little heavier than me. Got about another 70 more miles, and we're right in the Bahamas. Surprisingly, these big oil tankers, they don't make a lot of weight. It looks like the, the hull of the boat is more flat instead of a V-hole. Because it's an oil tanker, they need that hull to be as flat as possible. Um, so yeah, doesn't make a weight at all. There's something right there. Wow, look at that. Look at that piece of log right there. Look at that. That is some huge piece of log. If you hit that piece of log, it's like a, 
A two by two? If at night time you, uh, you're flying, a piece of lug like that is gonna give you a bad day. That is a huge log. It's about two feet diameter, two feet deep. So imagine if you hit that, that's huge. And that's a solid piece of block of wood. And sometimes it's under the water line and you can hardly see it. So that's why you gotta stay vigilant. And that was right on my path. So 20 feet more towards the right and I would've hit it. All right, 10 miles and uh, I can see land ahead. You can see the cruise ship over there and you can see the land too. So I made it here in about probably about three hours since uh, one hour I was coming real slow because it was dark so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get everything ready put on my uh, paperwork here so that way when I get there just anchor and uh, inflate the dinghy and get off it is 6.49 in the morning here. See the time changes here. It was 8.20 uh, US time. Look at this. I broke record with this propeller, look at that. I spent about 23 gallons to get to here. And I still got about two and a half more miles. By the time I reach land, it's gonna be 24 gallons of fuel to get here. That is incredible. That new propeller, for my weight of the boat is awesome. I'm going to place the link in the description below if you want to check it out. It's a Solus propeller. I'll place the link in the description below. It's incredible. And you can see that I uh, navigated already 66 miles. I averaged about three miles per gallon. That's better than before. And I'm fully loaded. Before, I was averaging about 2.6, 2.4, 2.6. Uh, and when I was kind of getting empty, no water and hardly any fuel, I can barely make it to 2.8. So now I can make it to 3.0 to 3.1 with this propeller. Now this propeller lowers my RPMs a little bit, but it doesn't matter because I never use all the RPMs. I'm always at cruising speeds because of the fuel economy that I cannot uh, go top speed. So that's why this propeller is good with this type of load. All right, I got about a mile and a half. I'm gonna set the flag out. air conditioning all the way to here. Generator doesn't have one drop of salt water on it.
looks like uh, somebody's getting a delivery. Five trucks being delivered here. Wow, Big Game Marina only has about five boats on the slips. Somebody took my parking. Boy, is it hot out there. Front clear. Well, now some people are arriving now. So it looks like it was too early. I arrived here too early. 8.30 in the morning. It looks like people started coming here uh, between 9 and 11, lunchtime. Right now, I spent 24 gallons and I did 71 miles. Heading now to see if I can get some lobsters. See, hopefully the tide is the tide is low, so this is a good time to go get some lobsters because uh, it's low tide.
Water here is incredible. Look at that. that come with this Yamaha's, if you have a lot of weight, they do no good to you. You need something that is not too high performance because the higher performance create a lot of thrust and it slows you down. So, And right over there, you can see Sabona. I'm getting all my gear ready, so when I get to the diving site, I'll be ready to uh, start lobster. But I'm a little hungry, so. I'm gonna eat this sandwich really quick before I get there. Right, that's where we're gonna be lobstering right there in those area there looking for rocks
Alright, that's cash of the day. I got three of them. They're a good size. So at least I got something for dinner. It's time now to take a little break. And uh, later, go do some fishing. Woo! Now I'm in Honeymoon Harbor, just taking a little break here. Well, at least I got three lobsters, great size. So if I don't catch fish, I already got lobster to eat. And I'm gonna take a little break now and I will continue this trip on the next video. Thank you for watching and always navigate safe.